So, um, just like last week with Coach Moser, who's here, by the way, thank you, Coach, and your staff for coming over, and, and I'd like to thank the players of our women's basketball team and th those of our men's basketball team that are here. That shows you what we're about here at Oklahoma and the kind of culture that we want to continue to enhance. Uh, but, but here uh, last week and this week, and you talk about, you know, these new coaches, and they said, oh, you found rising stars. And yes, they have been that. But many that know them say, oh, no, no, their, their star is still rising. That's true. But they're already a star. You know, the, the rising part kind of hedges like we think they're going to be great. And those that are close to basketball, close to competition and watch these two individuals and Jenny, especially, um, they, they see what they have been doing. Maybe now more we'll see. Um, we, we've heard all the exceptional accomplishments that have occurred since uh, Coach Jenny has taken over the Drake program and uh, they're noteworthy. And it's especially, um, especially exciting when you see a program that was, you know, finding its footing and then somebody comes in and and uh, Sandy Hatfield Club is here, the, the AD that hired her at Drake, and a, a really great friend of Jenny's, Susie Burt's here, so we thank you and her family's here. Um, but you see, you see what you can do when you have the right people in leadership roles. It's not just about the basketball piece. You know, that is obviously critical, and that's how we'll be measured. But it's really the approach to the journey, and that's what makes this fit so wonderful. Um, we know that, you know, through our talks, how her view and her vision aligns with our culture. We, uh, we certainly were easy, um, easy to figure out that she was the right head coach for us. Um, there's no question that she has passion. She's a very, very passionate person. We found that she's passionate about the mental and physical well-being of everyone in her program, starting, of course, with her players, but it extends to her staff, the support staff, everybody around the program. That's very important to her. She's very, very impassionate about empowering young women, those that play for her and being connected to those women when they leave, hopefully prepared for what life holds for them beyond their basketball experience. She's very passionate about the journey her players have, going toward their degree, um, their contributions to the success of our program, and of course, you know, what we want to achieve in the future. As uh, President Harris mentioned, she's very passionate about the community and engaging in the community. And that's uh, evidenced by the thousands and thousands, you know, that came around the Drake program and now started filling the arena. And we want, you know, know and know that'll continue to happen here. She wants that passion that she has, she wants the fans to share in that too. It's very real, it's very human, and it's very authentic. You know, the, um, the thing that you know, I'd like to be able to say too is that uh, as, as President Harris mentioned, when we got out into this search, you know, we found how people really thought about the Oklahoma program. They see the University of Oklahoma program as one of those that some people term a blue blood. They know from the banners that you see here, the final four appearances, the consistent championship performance, the way the women have succeeded in our program, gone on to the WNBA. They know this program has been successful. It became the type of program that many others pointed to and wanted to emulate and used to grow their own programs. And that helped us. And so I want to again extend our thanks to Coach Cole, the staff that have been here through those 25 years, and every single player that put on the uniform to lift the visibility, the success, and you know, really the prominence of the Oklahoma program. I can promise you that it made our search very, very special. And it ended up 
with not only getting to welcome Coach Jenny, uh, but a family that is extending as we speak, and we get to meet more and more of them. So on behalf of all of us here at the University of Oklahoma, on behalf of our president, on behalf of our University Board of Regents, I want to now ask you to join me in welcoming the next great coach of the University of Oklahoma women's basketball program, Coach Jenny Baranchek. Now, now before, um, you know, before we uh, turn the microphone over, I always, you know me, I don't like to do anything that everybody else does. You want to try to do something different. We tried this last, last uh, week. So we're not going to pull out the traditional jersey. I mean, what coach wears the jersey of their sport? I don't know anybody that does. So we, we're going to give you your first set of coaching gear. So there's a uh, coaching polo. We'll leave it here on the podium for you. There's your coaching whistle. Perfect. Perfect. And of course, you gotta have you gotta have the drip. You gotta wear the right shoes. You gotta have the brand that is the brand of all brands, Jordan. And so we like to present you your first pair of Jordans. You're gonna need these and probably quite a few other pairs in your days as an Oklahoma Sooner. Coach, we're so proud to welcome you to the Sooner family. I know a lot of you were shaking your heads. How did he know the word drip? How did he know that? <laughs> I'll explain it after. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Jenny Baranchek. Thank you. I probably came up too early, but thank you. 